hey everyone, welcome back to Awesomer Pop. Get ready for a sugar high, because today we're not only having soda, but we're indulging in chocolate and candy. I'll be showing you how to make this chocolate Mountain Dew bottle. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. So here's all the ingredients we'll need. You guessed it, it's basically just a bunch of chocolate. As one of the main tools, we'll also need a box cutter or some type of X-Acto knife. Ask an adult before handling this. Of course we need Mountain Dew. Let's go pour this out so we can use the bottle as a mold. Mmm, this is the perfect refresher while we make our bottle. Now that the bottle is empty, do your best to dry it out and then we can peel off the label. Be careful not to rip it! Set that aside and then we can move on to the next step. This is where you'll want to ask an adult for help. Make an incision down the middle section. Now grab your scissors and cut all around it until you can remove the top. Set that aside and then we can tape up the cut we made. Make sure it's nice and tight so none of the chocolate seeps out. Speaking of chocolate, let's go melt some. I'm using this bag of white candy melts. Let's go microwave this for 30 second intervals until it gets all melty. Time to add the green food coloring. Keep doing this until it gets to the color you want. The chocolate cooled down so it's a lot thicker now. But don't worry, we can just microwave it again. Let's check if the color's right. I think that looks pretty good. Let's coat the bottles with the chocolate. I'm going to use this knife to scrape all around it. We want this to be pretty thick so it doesn't crack when we remove the plastic. That looks good. Let's go do the bottom portion. All right, all done. Now pop those into the fridge for a few hours or even overnight. Once it's hardened, it should look like this. Let's peel off the tape and take off the plastic. Again, grab an adult for help with this part. I'll use this box cutter to cut the bottom portion. 
That way I can peel off all the plastic. Let's do the same thing for the very bottom. And now just pull it off. Check it out everyone, this looks awesome. If you want, you can go in with a knife again to clean up the edges. But first, let's go cut the top portion. Give it a little wiggle, and boom! That looks great! It'll look even better with the label on it. Now it really looks like a Mountain Dew bottle. Oh, I can't forget the cap. What do you guys think? Did I do it justice? This bottle may not be filled with soda, but it can be filled with candy. Yum, Skittles! Here's the final product. Let me know in the comments what you think, and what soda bottles I should try to make next. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you soon.